What's going on everybody? Today we're going to be doing a little bit of a weird video. And these things don't want to stay straight and it's really going to bother me the whole time. F*** it. Today we have Brush Hero. I've been seeing ads for this thing for the longest time. And it's all over the internet, on Instagram, on Facebook, it's all over the place. And everybody's like, oh, this is the greatest thing. It cleans your wheels, you can clean your freaking dog, your pool, your bike freaking spokes, everything. So immediately, what comes to mind for me? Wheels and exhaust tips. That's the thing that comes to mind for me. Now, I made a mistake. When I ordered this, I didn't realize that it came with this setup. So I ordered this as well but I'll probably end up destroying these bristles anyway. One thing I do want to talk about real quick is these are really soft on the black side here and on the white, it's very rough, rugged. So what we're gonna probably do is this is gonna be broken up into two videos. First video I'm gonna film right now is me cleaning my exhaust tips. So we're gonna have the white head on here because the exhaust tips are obviously more rugged. My exhaust tips are shot ever since I got the mods done and I have no cats on the car so it's it's a shit show, basically a big mess. So we're gonna clean them today and then we're going to put some metal sealant on there and see if that holds up. And if that does not hold up, then we're either going to do some engine enamel paint on the exhaust tips or I'm gonna get them powder coated. So those are basically the options, but those are all for different videos. I'm gonna try to clean the front wheels to demonstrate what this does. And for the wheels, like I said, we're gonna have the black head on. So I'm gonna remove this, put the white one on, and we're gonna put a little cleaner on the exhaust tips, all purpose. And we're gonna see if we can just get them clean to the point where it's sort of acceptable. We'll see what it does. The other thing is these are plastic here. So I'm going to try and put one of my uh, fittings in. I'm a big fan of quick disconnects. I'm not a big fan that that's plastic, but I'm pretty sure if I put some Teflon tape on this and I don't tighten it too much, like to the point where I'm gonna break anything, I should be able to have a fitting here so I can put this onto the end of my hose and it could just be a good staple for me. So like I said, I just put some Teflon tape and we're gonna see how this holds up. I'm gonna connect it, I'm gonna pull the hose out and we're gonna get to clean. So anytime I ever do something that involves fittings, there's always a catastrophic failure, and it's never caught on tape. So what I'm gonna do is push this, allow the water to go through, and hopefully we don't have a lot of leaks. I have a feeling we will though, but I, I, I'm nervous. Uh. Holy shit, nothing. All right, so now we've got water into the unit. I'm not sure what this turn dial is here. We'll have to figure this out in a few minutes, but apparently the premise of this is you squeeze this and it shoots water through these little stream holes here. And what that does is <laughs> it allows this thing to move up and down and left and right. So, I mean, I'm gonna squeeze this real quick and just see what it does. Okay, I didn't know it was gonna squirt all over my camera. So what we're gonna do is not squeeze that again, like a complete moron. So before I uh, start to clean these, I'm just gonna show you the level of filth. Now, I've cleaned these a couple times since I've had the car back. That's kind of where it would be clean. Then it just slowly starts to give off this like beautiful gradient. <laughs> just slowly goes from, you know, shiny silver to dull silver to like a brown poop to black poop. And then it's like soot. So we're gonna see if this does anything. Uh, I do have that attachment that hooks up to your drill with the foam pad if I wanna really buff this, which I might try in a minute, but I'm gonna actually give this a go with cleaning. So I'm gonna spray my favorite all-purpose, my all-in-one cleaner. This is the one I trust the most, I like it the most. So I'm gonna spray this on there and we're gonna let it dwell for a second, and then we're gonna attack it with the brush and some water. I'm just gonna really put this, uh, Let that just sit in there. I don't know what this turn dial does. I probably should start reading instructions, but I've never been a big fan of that. But this turn dial here on the handle, it uh, has a plus and a minus, so I'm assuming it has something to do with water pressure. Not sure, we'll see. So I'm gonna squeeze this trigger of doom real quick. 
how much does it really... Oh my god. That's... That sounds... Oh wow, okay. So we're just gonna go in here and... Just see what this does. Like, is this gonna be something that works? I don't know. This doesn't feel... I don't know, I guess this doesn't go as fast as I thought it was gonna go. Alright, so, um, listen, this is not the normal car, but I, I'm, you know, this is, this is not a bad job. It's not a bad job. Obviously, it's a little bit caked on here. Go a little bit more in depth here. I would say that this thing did a really good job. And what's cool about it is it was able to fit in between here. And because it's not like a super, like, stiff bristle. I don't know. I think this is pretty pretty good so far. But again, you all have to have realistic expectations. So, you know, that really stuck on grime stuff, that's going to be done with another thing. Another element. Something with a little bit of a, a grit, a polishing type layer. Especially on the inside. I mean, I'm wearing black gloves and I expected you to see that. Seriously, guys. The noise this makes is concerning. All right, there's a slight bit of confusion. So apparently, it's it's in this position when you get it pointing up, but you can't go that way. You can go this way, and it'll turn that way. So what does that do? Oh, so this was on the most aggressive setting. And when you go forward more, yeah. This was on the most aggressive setting. So this is what we're working with. As I said, it did an amazing job on the outside, but the inside obviously is not gonna be a big help. This is my polishing soap of choice, my polishing media. So we're gonna use this to get the inside, give it a quick run on the outside on the tips, give this a little bit of massage in here so we can get it on there. We're gonna give this a little bit of a run here. Now this is my favorite way to treat my exhaust tips. I've always had a lot of luck with this. And what's cool about it is it's got just enough bite on it to hopefully take off just about anything. So we're gonna go inside here, see what we can get. And we're gonna give it a rinse off with this. The lighting's really shitty here, but as you can tell on just the lip, it made it perfect. There's nothing on this lip anymore, but it's uh, it's clean to my standards, so I'm gonna give this a dry, and then I'm gonna put some metal wax on here, on the outside and on the lip, and we're gonna see if this helps. So we got some product on here, and we're just gonna make sure we get all the way in around that tip. I'm gonna make sure we get the edge and buff it off, buff it off immediately. Damn near perfect. Very, very happy with this. It's my last ditch effort. Um, this, my opinion, uh, I don't think it's super necessary. If you have one, this is a cool little use for it. But I wouldn't buy this just for the exhaust tips. If you're buying it for the wheels and other things around the house, it could play a good role. So we're going from this to this. And it really wasn't a whole lot of work. All right, guys. That's a, that's a big freaking difference. You can almost not see the tip in the bumper. So just let me know what you think. Should I powder coat them regardless because it gives more stealth or should I keep them silver leave a comment down below okay so it's been a couple days now there is some gunk and there's some stuff forming oh wow here we go 
we're already seeing something. That was just the fingertip and holy shit. So one quick swipe removed what it did. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna take a clean cloth. We're gonna spray some uh, Ultima waterless wash on there. And we're gonna just give this a little gentle wipe and we're gonna see what this does. Cause obviously you need some kind of cleaner, some kind of waterless wash, some kind of something. It's coming off. question is, is it coming off enough? It definitely cleaned up a little bit better. I would say, if I had to recommend it, you're really not going to be able to get a perfect clean out of this unless you're, unless you're doing what you need to be doing as far as soap and water and everything, but it's not bad. It definitely cleaned up better. Here's the other side. It's definitely scuzzed. We're just gonna spray a little bit and see what it does. It definitely had that brown rim. All right, so I'm impressed. I think that the metal wax is definitely worth getting. If you're on the fence about it, there's your answer. Go get it. I can't show your wheels on the other side because of the sun, but at least they're both the same shit. So we got the black head on it. Brush hero, hero brush. Obviously some stuff are gonna come off. Damn, these are dirty as hell. Look at the bottom. Yeah. That's funny, they got water on them. It's still pretty bad. We're gonna spray. Hopefully this sprayer works. From the videos I've watched, people always said the edges were a bitch. Yeah. I mean, I would say it does a decent job, but it's not going to replace a cloth in your hand. Yeah. For, for the lazy person, this is if we use. I don't know if that's going to make a big difference. See how you rubbed and yeah. get on the inside of it. Like, yeah. look at the caliper. There. My take on this is that. It's taking too long. Yeah. And I don't feel like it's getting the clean that we would get if we just scrubbed it real quick with our hands. I just feel like it's a whole lot of fucking work and we didn't get the barrels. Right. I mean, it did clean the Brembo's decent. What about cleaning the actual tires? The tires? Yeah. Go over the tires. I didn't bring my fucking scuba gear. <laughs> I mean, I guess, I guess that could be another use. Let's try to see if we can get it where we spend the least amount of time on it. Like, let's see if there's it's a like way. Quick. Yeah, let's see if we can get it as quick as possible, as thorough as possible, so it's not a giant waste. This thing splatters water like crazy. Everywhere. Like literally I'm getting wet and I'm I'm zoomed in and I'm far away. Yeah. And I'm getting fing hit. I'm getting I'm, a, yeah. I'm getting attacked right I'm coming now. Coming more on this side. Yeah. Right, I'm coming behind you. I'm getting annihilated here. I mean, a little better, honestly. There's some marks here and there. Do you see yourself using this every wash? No. That's what I'm saying. I do like it for the caliper if I had more range. Yeah, if there was an extension, I feel like this product would be better. Like if they had a skinny arm, yeah. but then again, the jets wouldn't reach the bristles. You see how the jets... Oh, yeah. Like if you... The jets are what, are, mm. what is pushing it. Do it again. Hold on. They're coming out and they're just throwing the bristles. I'm getting wet. I'm getting wet. Oh, I guess for something like that, maybe. That could be kind of cool. 
All right, I don't know. I mean, if you have it, it's good, but. So uh, SRTB5 would not want to continue using this. And we sucks. just, Billy says it sucks. Maybe people that don't have as much spokes would benefit from this. I mean, it did clean it, but it's missing the, it's missing the corners. It's missing the corners, as you can see here. I mean, it's not getting perfect, but can it? Not super impressed. I think the final conclusion with the wheels is gonna be if you have brushes already, you're probably best suited to just keep using the brushes. I wouldn't waste the money on it, but that's just me. Okay, so conclusion time. Do I feel like this machine, this tool, this little uh, connection to my hose apparatus, do I feel like this is worth it? <sighs> I, I, it's such a freaking loaded question here. Personally, no, I don't. I don't feel like this thing is worth it. I don't feel like it has enough benefits. I feel like if you're lazy or if you're one of those techies that really loves things just because they're things, this might be a cool little bargain. But for me, honestly, you know, hand right here, this, with a rag. A rag would be any of these things here, right? Some soap, some water, and a little muscle does the same exact thing and likely quicker because you're waiting for bristle power to do it. But now that I have it, I have it. I'm going to keep it here. I'm going to, you know, try it. We'll try other things with it if there's any purpose to, to have this. But as far as the exhaust tips go, it's cool to try it, but I'm not a big fan. Um, this product, always always a staple in my arsenal. And um, this right here, we're going to figure out what, what it's all about real soon. All right, so that's where we'll be next.